What's going on YouTube, Fezzer Fire Media with all the latest and the dated story videos to keep you updated and informed. Today we got another The Story video and we're going to be doing Dappy, 20 years in the game. He's been active from the year 2000 to today 2020. Guys, who do you want to see on The Story next? Make sure you comment below for the next episode which will be dropping on Wednesday. So as always we start with some intro and facts and Dappy is from Camden in London. He's currently 33 years old, born on the 11th of June 1987. His style is grime back in the day. he will do some singing in the R&B section and he's more known for his rapping as of lately he's been active like i said for 20 years since the year 2000 first forming with band n-dubs featuring him talisa and Faisal. talisa being his cousin and Faisal being his best friend and the group got to some crazy heights they formed in the year 2000 and they come to an end in the year 2011 they won four mobile awards and had eight top 40 hits in the uk single shot now we're going to talk about Dappy's music rise, of course he had a lot of success with N-dubs and I might make an N-dubs episode, they had a TV show, everything, if you guys want to see that, make sure you like this video and comment below for the N-dubs story. It's safe to say Dappy's had a lot of success as a solo artist as well, dating back, a single with Tinchy Schrider called Number One, it's got 11 million views on YouTube and was literally on the charts and reached number one. Dappy would then put in countless works with songs like No Regrets, Rockstar, Spaceship Again with Tinchy Schrider. Rider, he had Yin Yang, he had IOU, then of course the Tarzan series on SBTV as well, part 1, 2 and 3 dropped on that. He had classic songs like Beautiful Me, where he went deep in that song, and then you go even deeper with his new freestyle series. Of course he had Straight Facts, he had Trill, he had Spotlight, all of them getting over 10 million views across YouTube. Not long after he proved he can still make hit songs when he dropped Oh My with AM. Just lately Dappy's had countless features from K Coke to Tory Lane's Russ Lotto Boys 23. He's still putting in work after all this time in the game. Just recently he dropped the intro to his new project. Dappy has had his legal issues as well. He just about avoided jail after a brawl outside of a petrol station. Back in 2012 to 13, the case was ongoing. He broke down in tears and shouted yes when he avoided a prison term. He was given a six month suspended sentence for common assault and a fray ordered to do 150 hours of community service. After spending the night in a VIP area of a casino nightclub in Guildford and drinking, the group headed into three cars to the recording studios where Dappy was recording his debut solo album. The group stopped at a shell garage at about 3.30am 28th of February where the violence erupted. It was alleged that Dappy tried to approach some females that guys were with and they didn't want to come with Dappy and his friends and they exchanged some verbal abuse at each other. A man stepped in and a brawl erupted. In court, Dappy denied making advances to the women and said he only spoke to them to promote his new single. After this, Dappy went on Big Brother which really cleared up his image and a lot of people took to him after watching that show, seeing his side of the story and getting on with certain people on that show. He had some arguments on there with Louisa, a contestant on the show. Okay, because you know me so well. This yeah, is ours, right? nothing. Yeah, it's ours. Yeah. You, I sorry, I didn't realise you've been documenting my life for the last 26 oh, years. You're stuck up, you're just stuck up, man. You've been brought up around money all your life, that's it. I ain't. I have to I? work, I have to work to make have money. Have I really been brought yeah, up by money? Yeah, I think you have. Have I? Why I do you think, think I have? Because I can hear by the way you act. Do you think Ollie's been brought up by money as well, when he lived off because the way that he speaks? I, I respect Ollie. Because he I don't speaks respect properly. You. I don't respect you. Mm. Yeah, I know you don't <coughs> respect me, because I'm a woman. Cool. Look what do you mean? Later on in the show, did it actually make up as well, though? But it cleared up his image a lot in terms of the limelight and the general public. But in 2017, Dappy was given a suspended jail sentence for arming himself with a butcher's knife during a row with his partner. He spent some time on remand, then got a suspended prison sentence. He's since made a song with K Coke talking about prison called Remand. As far as Dappy's beefs and music rivals, he released a song called I'm Coming, which was Tarzan 2, sending for a lot of people like Simon Cow and even Scorcher. Scorcher made a whole diss track aimed towards Dappy and Dappy didn't make a diss track back but he had references in songs talking about F Scorcher and that nobody robbed his chain after Scorcher claimed that he did get robbed for his chain. The small beef it was, Scorcher did well out of it, it got 4.3 million views to diss track towards Dappy and definitely launched his career. 
and also he's had a beef with Lethal Bizzle or Lethal B. ...tournament where they came across fellow hip-hop star Lethal Bizzle. Not a big deal in itself, but once you unlock their feuding history, you'll understand there's no love lost between them. Bizzle claimed that he sent to Lisa a demo a while back and the N-dubs then ripped part of that song in their hit I Need You. But Dappy, Talisa and Phaser strongly deny the claim. They reckon they received the demo a couple of months after they recorded the song, which reached five in the UK charts last year. This hasn't stopped the two sides bickering though and they've made the row public, first on YouTube and then again at the soccer match, where N-dubs and their entourage reportedly threatened Bizzle. A spokesman for the rapper said he was minding his own business. N-dubs and 10 of their entourage approached him while he was watching a match. They may have had 10 others with them, but other spectators at the match apparently turned against them and started booing them. A rep for N-dubs denies the allegations and said the band remain understandably annoyed about the claims Lethal Bizzle has made about them. It doesn't look like the argument was resolved on or off the pitch, so we guess it's back to the recording studio where no doubt they'll both continue to battle it out with words. All right, listen. Let me clear this end up thing up, yeah? That gas show last night, some Hollywood acting. Good, good editing still. That's what I'm saying. That thing you saw last night was like a 30 second clip, a 10 minute incident, yeah? Furthermore, that bit you saw last night was like 10 minutes after the incident, innit? When man were holding me back. But like, you didn't see that bit. Anyway, that's what happened. So I got into that thing by myself. I didn't go on a hype thing, went by myself. Didn't need to go, it's end up, innit? I don't need to take my man there, innit? Went there, bam, chilling. Four end up little tramps try to approach me. Not Dappy, Phaser, none of them lot. That's the bit you didn't see. Four of the tramps approach me and were like, yo, Biz, we saying done? I like, what's good, fam? They were like, yeah, Biz, what's all this end up hype, fam? I'm like, done. I'm here playing football. Big man thing, innit? Man squashed all that. Then one of them goes, ah! Oh, but I heard you tell them man to suck man's mum. Can't really be saying that. I don't tell who to suck man's mum. I heard you tell the phaser to suck his mum. So I'm there thinking to myself, tell the phaser to suck his mum. So I'm thinking about the videos I did in my yard with the pool table and that. I tell man to suck man's mum on there. I'm baffed. Then, they call phaser. That's the bit you see on the little show they did. And you see phaser walk over. So phaser come over now. This time there's like maybe six of them now. Phaser's like, yeah. Don't you remember you told me this up my mum on Twitter like four months ago? So I'm like, Don, you know what, yeah? I don't remember, but if I did tell you to suck your mum, I must have had a good enough reason. Then he's like, oh, but you can't be telling them to suck man's mum. Then all these little youths are hyping. Yeah, you can't be telling them to suck man's mum. Then there was some little tramp. I don't know if you saw that Asian tramp, like with some grey tracksuit. Like, I sussed him from early he went on this team. Man's head's down like this. Yeah, you can't really, you can't really tell man suck man's mum. That's violation. I'm looking at this you like, is this boy being serious? Anyway, then Talisa come out of nowhere and she was like, oh, Bizzle, you're a prick, you're a prick. And then some youths on, I think it's a manager holding her back. Like, oh, you're a prick. I told you, let's go do the line attempt to test. You're a prick. Oh, you know what? Suck your mum. So I was there like, you know what? I'm gonna play a big man, innit? I'm gonna play like I didn't even hear you say that, innit? Cause real talk, innit? Like, you're a girl. Like, what am I really gonna go and do to Talisa? What am I gonna go beat up Talisa? Leave for bitch. You said we nicked your song. You said we nicked your song. Think about it. <laughs> Hey, how many records you sold, bruh? Seriously. Lethal bitch. How many records you sold? I'm laughing inside my brain. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out, man. Wait. We sold a million point five albums. Thanks to all you beautiful fans. Thank you. We love you. We love you. Without you, it would be nothing. And... How many you sold, Mr. Lethal? What was your last record? I'm gonna go hard! Oh, I 
I gotta go home. Hey, didn't have a song good on that stone. Happy's beefs have pretty much died out now. He seems like a more mature artist focused on his music. He's had so many ups and downs in his career and it seems like he's in a positive place now, which is good to see. Guys, who do you want to see on the story next? Comment below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for all the latest UK media updates and story videos. And of course, until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Also, one last thing, guys. I am now on Snapchat. Feel free to add me. My Snapchat is at Fezify. Make sure you guys add me up.